Today we're going to perform a closed castration in a young cat. We've prepped and scrubbed up the area and have now applied a uh, disposable drape. We grasp one of the testicles and tense it against the scrotal skin and make our incision. Just through the skin, not into the underlying vaginal tunics. We're now putting gentle traction onto the testicle to pull it free from the um, subcutaneous attachments. And often you'll get a little piece of uh, fat uh, attached to the spermatic cord or you're just using a piece of gauze to um, remove that. Next we crush the spermatic cord with a hemostat and then we move our hemostat closer to the testicle and we use the, the crush to tie our ligature. So here we're performing an instrument tie with four square knots. It's perhaps a little bit of a luxury to be using instruments in this case. Often people will just uh, uh, use a piece of suture material and a scalpel blade. We cut our absorbable suture material. And now we cut across the top of the hemostat to remove the actual testicle. We check for hemorrhage from the ligated spermatic cord and then tuck it back into the, the scrotum. And we now repeat this procedure on the other testicle. So in this case we go a little bit too deep and just nick the underlying vaginal tunic. If we're performing an open cap castration then we would go right through into the, the vaginal tunic. So we're getting rid of this um, little bit of fatty tissue that surrounds the spermatic cord. In older cats we may have a little bit more fat than what we've got here. Again we're crushing the spermatic cord and applying the hemostat and then we're ligating with four square knots using absorbable suture material. Then we cut the suture material and use our scalpel blade to remove the testicle. And then we check for hemorrhage from the end of the spermatic cord before we replace it into the, the scrotum. The wounds in the scrotum are then left to, to heal on their on their own.